Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to quickly show you guys, um, if you guys have picking up the Gear S3, <clears throat> the Frontier, or the Classic, uh, Strap Studio has got some nice leather, um, premium leather bands uh, they have available. They have a variety of um, finishes. This is the actual uh, set uh, gray uh, strip band here, as you can see here, hopefully it's the leather. So these are genuine Italian leather. Uh, it is the 22 uh, millimeter buckle, or not buckle, but the 22 millimeter. And I believe the buckle size is a 20, 20 millimeter. It is designed for the S3, as you can see here. Um, anything you like to see there is, um, is basically a very nice. Uh, oops, these all came out apart from the little holders there. But that's okay. So uh, just little straps that hold these. But let's take a quick look at the strap, these leather straps. As you can see here, it does say genuine leather here. Um, the finish or the soft leather, it's right now it's uh, a little on the hard side, but just like anything else, this should wear pretty nicely over time. Uh, so that's I'm looking forward to, you know, breaking this in because leather wears over time very nicely. Uh, it does have the belt here, and this is the belt buckle here, and this is also I believe this is a um, should be stainless steel. But I'd have to check to see if um, there is actually stainless steel for them. Um, I'll have to look on there. It does have the finish on this. It is a PVD black finish. So it's probably not stainless steel. But that should last you for a while. And the buckle size is 20 millimeters. Again, like the uh, lug size here is 22. So that will fit on your um, Gear S3 or the Frontier as well with no issue. These are going for about $39 at uh, Strap Studios website. I'll put those on the link below and you guys can go there and I believe they have a nice special going on if you go to their website. Uh, you might want to check it out. So let's take a quick look. It does have the nice sewing here. As you can see here what they've done is they got the black edge here and it's actually kind of uh, oversprayed all around the sides here which makes it look very nice because it's like um, kind of like <clears throat> Uh, fogged over which is over spray and it giving you the nice uh, kind of grayish look to it which is very nice uh, I like that design and that look with it and it does have these um, stitching here as you can see is very well solid stitching here on the side they do uh, put like a um, kind of like a coating as you can see it that's kind of peeling which is kind of to expect because that will probably wear out over time and come out so that that's no big deal to me uh, as that probably no matter what will come out of uh, any kind of finish there here on the other band side as you can see where the buckles at the stitching as well everything is very well done all the stitching nothing I don't see anything actually coming apart or anything that you know that I, I can you know say that this is a bad um, product or anything it does have their strap studio logo uh, stamped on here let me see if I can catch it on the video there. Hopefully you guys can see that there. And this is just the belt um, holder. What I do like, um, if you guys ever pick up any bands, I always recommend um, get the one that already has the little pin here, which is very nice because that that's going to save you a lot of time um, having that on there because it's easy to change around uh, when the, you have uh, it, several different... Um, watch bands that you want to change out change over you know quickly what you know maybe a couple of days later you want to change it so that spring uh here spring loaded it's gonna make a big difference in putting uh adding it to your watch so let's take a quick look and see what it actually looks like again this is how fast and easy you can see that's a 22 so i know that that will fit and it's, besides it's made for this one this one's actually a little bit harder to get, only if you can see here, it's so, um, and the edges are very small there. So this one's very easy. Basically, just set this one in here first, push that one down, and you can kind of, you'll feel it kind of click on there. Once it clicks on there, it's on there for good, as you can see here. And then same thing, you just uh, slide this spring loaded out as you can see there very easy same thing just kind of drop it in and then just let me see if I can show you guys that 
you just drop that in here. Oops, try to do it another one. And then just kind of bring the other one in there and then it just snaps and you can hear it. So once it's on there, <clears throat> you can see here how nice and compliment it makes to your watch here. So, you know, it's looking very nice. Uh, I really like that color to it. It actually blends in very nicely, as you can see here, all different uh, angles there. Let me zoom in there for you. It does, uh, everything just fits in there, you know, just nicely. So that actually looks very nice and sharp. Let me compare it like if you were you having the, you know, your old one. Let me see turn that one off it's kind of see that okay there you go that way they're both so you have the um, original band on there and you can see how nicely it actually complements your gear s3 frontier with this color kind of anodized there it looks very nice you can see compare with the uh, original strap and then with the strap studio strap here as you can see there very nice let me back this up a little bit for you guys so that's nice and um very again easy to put in you just basically you know you just put whichever one you want here however you feel it comfortable and then again this just slides in here you can see how it actually looks looks very nice just so you guys can see both oops just you know quick comparison looking good so when when once again i just wanted to kind of show you guys if you guys were interested in picking up this uh strap studios they have several different these premium leather bands uh very nice it's not going to come off or anything. Those spring clips are very, very good and solid. So hope this video helps for those that are wanting to kind of see what these stra strap studio bands, leather bands are all about and, um, you know, how good they are. And the finish, again, it's nice leather. It is, you know, it's, it's kind of like the soft type leather. At the same time, it's kind of a little bit hard right now. But again, like I was mentioning it, um, this leather is probably gonna you know break in and it's gonna probably fit nicely Oop, as time goes on uh, I like I like the leather bands as well just only because over time they they get their own characteristics uh, on their breaking in so I hope this helps uh, if you guys are interested I'll put the link down below to strap studios just so that way you, if you guys are interested you can see the, all the different colors they have of straps available at their website and, um, you know, just give you guys a heads up. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps.